morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be able to do this video for you today because I have finally found a solution that is making my life so much easier and I can't wait to share it with you. Decluttering my closet has always been a very long process. You're going to say goodbye to that messy, crowded closet you didn't even want to open the doors to. And we're also going to deal head on with your maybe pieces. The pieces that you would describe as, well, maybe one day that will fit me, or maybe I'll need it one day. Sometimes you just don't know what pieces you might need. That piece is so expensive. Maybe it'll come back in style. So don't worry, we're going to address all of those maybes, and we're going to find a special place for those pieces. Okay, let's get started. You ready? with step number one. Okay, step number one, I assume your closet is in your bedroom. And if it is, step number one is make your bedroom beautiful. Tidy everything up, and you're making it beautiful for you. Now, open the doors of your closet, and very carefully and very critically pull out your absolute favorite pieces in your closet. Begin with your tops. Pull out a few of your absolute favorite tops. You can include blouses and shirts and sweaters, but only your favorites. So it should just be a few of each category. And put them beautifully, carefully folded on the bed. Now let's move on to the bottoms. Go through and looking for your favorite trousers, jeans, and skirts. Only your absolute beautiful ones. The ones you love, the ones you wear the off most often, the ones that fit you beautifully and make you feel beautiful and confident. And finally, they may be in a separate place, the longer single pieces. I'm referring to dresses and perhaps jumpsuits. Pull out only your absolute favorites and put those on your bed. There isn't a perfect number of favorite items that you will have pulled from your closet. It will vary dramatically from person to person. Some of us would have 30 items. Some of us will have fewer. Some of us will have many more. What matters is that those are the pieces that every single one of them pass the I love them test. They make you feel fantastic. Even looking at them makes you smile. Only those pieces are the ones that you've pulled out on your bed. Okay, now the next step, stand back and take a really good look at those favorite pieces. Maybe this will help you understand something about yourself. If there's one category where you have a lot of favorites, does that mean that you tend to buy that piece too often? Or is it you wear it so often? So you're happy to have quite a few in that particular category. Does what's lying on the bed teach you anything about what you tend to impulse buy? Let's learn whatever we can by reviewing our favorites. You might also identify while we're standing back and looking. What are those pieces that I'm missing? What do I have not enough of? The ones I really need. So now it's time to pull out a piece of paper or your phone and note the pieces that you don't have enough of and create a list of either urgent, which means I have to buy them today online because I really, they create a problem for me every morning I get dressed. Maybe it's that cream top. You really need a fresh cream top, and as a result, you're not able to wear XYZ as often because you need that cream top. Make a note of it. You'll buy it urgently today, or maybe next time you notice the sales, you'll put that at the top of your list, or maybe you're, you have a holiday, a birthday coming up, and people will be asking you what is on your wish list. Perhaps the items that are missing could be on your wish list. 
Now I'd like you to gather up your perfect items, your perfect closet items, and gather them off the bed. Put them either in a separate room or on a rail if you have one, but for the moment, take those precious favorites and take them off the bed while we move to step number four. We're now going to hunt in your closet for reject items, items that are ripped, stained, ruined, or items that you're happy to give away today. You've been meaning to, you just haven't gotten around to it, but you're gonna do that now. So you'll now have two piles on the bed. One pile, which are the ripped, stained, ruined items. Those will be rejected. And the second pile is I'm happy to give away today. They might be to family, to friends, or maybe even to your favorite charity. Those are going to leave your home today. Now we're at step five, which frankly is my favorite step in this incredibly wonderful decluttering process. We're going to address head on the tricky stuff. Based on what you've already done, what remains in your closet are all of the items that you don't wear, but you haven't and can't seem to be able to give them away for whatever reason. They are expensive. I might need them one day. Maybe my daughter will want it. Maybe they'll fit me in a little while. Regardless of what the reasons, I'd like you to box up the items that remain. Get a nice big box or two and box up what's in your closet. We're going to remove those items from your closet entirely. But we're going to keep them in those two special boxes in a very special safe and dry place. So they're not being tossed, they're not being given away precipitously. We're going to think about them, but we're not going to look at them every day. Maybe tomorrow you're going to wake up and you're going to remember that there's a piece in one of those boxes you wish you hadn't put in that box. That's okay. Pull out whatever pieces you now have given a second thought to. You might have decided you were a little too harsh and you want to add a couple more items to your perfect closet, that's fine. Meanwhile, let's think about what time frame you want to really relook at everything that's in those two boxes. Maybe it's the end of the season. Maybe it's three months or six months. Maybe it's a year. Whatever time frame works for you, you will mark in your phone or in your diary that you're going to relook at those maybe boxes and keep in mind whether any of the pieces need to go back into your closet because you've really missed them and you've learned that maybe a little bit of tailoring of that piece will put it into the perfect category. Maybe you've decided that you are ready to give some of those pieces away. Maybe you've decided that you're going to ring up some friends and family to see if they want to have a look at what is contained in those two maybe boxes. Your closet should be empty. So let's give it a little bit of a clean, a really deep clean. It's so great to have an empty space to clean properly. And once you've dusted every corner and dusted every rod, Maybe you're going to treat yourself to a set of matching hangers. I'll put some of my favorites down in the description box below. There's something wonderful about looking at a closet that has all matching hangers and thoughtfully chosen hangers that really work for you, that make sense based on the items that you wear. I hope you have found this approach to be insightful and helpful I hope that you'll realize that not only does it apply to your clothing, but you can use the exact same technique with your shoes, your belts, your jewelry. You could even use it with your sheets and your towels. 
anything that takes up space in your home that you have quite a few of and you'd like to hone down to only the perfect category, these same steps will work brilliantly. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate how much time you're giving up to listen to video like these. In the meanwhile, get up, get dressed, be happy, enjoy your beautiful boutique closet. Bye-bye.